Welcome to today's show. On today's show, we're going to be discussing punctuation. The punctuation that we're going to be discussing in this episode consists of the period, ellipsis, hyphen, quotation marks, comma, semicolon, the question mark, exclamation point, colon, apostrophe, parentheses, and the dash. First, let's talk about the period. What does it look like? The period is a dot. Here's an example of a period in use. I ate a sandwich, and you'd put a period at the end. What is the purpose of a period? A period ends a telling or command sentence. Next, let's talk about an ellipsis. What does an ellipsis look like? It's a series of three dots, dot, dot, dot. An example of an ellipsis in use, I heard a noise and then dot, dot, dot. What is the purpose of an ellipsis? An ellipsis represents unfinished or omitted text. Next, let's talk about the hyphen. The hyphen is a dash. An example of a hyphen in use, that lasagna was rock hard. What is the purpose of a hyphen? A hyphen joins or separates words or parts of words. Next, let's talk about quotation marks. What does it look like? It's a series of apostrophes that are lumped together. An example of quotation marks in use, come on, John demanded. The purpose of quotation marks enclose speech. They indicate titles of poems and short stories. Periods and commas always go inside quotation marks. Question marks, exclamation marks, semicolons, colons, and dashes go outside quotation marks unless they are part of the quotation. Next, let's talk about the comma. The comma is like an upside down apostrophe. That's what it looks like. An example of a comma in use, I ate a sandwich, and you see the comma there, chips, comma, and a pickle. What is the purpose of a comma? A comma joins or separates elements within a text. Next, let's talk about the semicolon. What does it look like? The semicolon is a dot with a comma underneath it. An example of a semicolon in use, Sammy loves baseball. It was his passion. The purpose of a semicolon joins two main clauses or separates items in a list. Next, let's discuss the question mark. The question mark looks like this, a squiggly line with a dot underneath it. An example of a question mark in use, what did you eat for supper? The purpose of a question mark ends a sentence that asks a direct question. Next, let's discuss the exclamation mark. An exclamation mark is a straight vertical line with a dot underneath it. An example of an exclamation mark, watch out for the ball. The purpose of using an exclamation mark ends a sentence that displays excitement. Now let's talk about the colon. The colon looks like this. It's two dots, one on top of another. An example of a colon in use, James gave his daughter three things, a book, a pen, and a piece of paper. What is the purpose of a colon? A colon introduces text within a sentence. Now let's talk about the apostrophe. The apostrophe is like a comma, but is actually used in a different section of a sentence. An example of an apostrophe, I can't believe you said that. Notice where the apostrophe is. The purpose of an apostrophe marks the possessive or omitted text such as in a contraction. Now let's talk about the parentheses. Parentheses look like this. It's like two brackets. An example of a parenthesis in use, Ida, Andy's mother, came to visit yesterday. The purpose of parentheses surround additional information within a sentence. Now let's discuss the dash. What does a dash look like? It's just a straight line that's horizontal. Here's an example of a dash in use. James, with a silly smirk on his face, announced the winner. The purpose of a dash signals extra information within a sentence. Now let's summarize what we've learned about punctuation. Punctuation makes reading much more pleasurable. Punctuation can make your writing much more exciting with expression of feeling and emotion. Think about the variety of punctuation terms that we've learned about and practice what you preach. Test it in your writing. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to connect with us. Check out our Teachers Pay Teacher store. Follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and check out our Pinterest page. 
Hop on over to our YouTube channel where you can check out many exciting videos like the one that you've just seen. And check out our blog at www.bowtieguyandwife.com.